G'day viewers, Jason from Jacob Farm here. Today I'm going to run through one of the most common questions I get asked, what's the best modification to my vehicle? To me, it's all about tyres. So most people ask, what tyre do I run? Ironically, I actually run the tyre that's actually proven itself to me for the last seven years. This is my choice to run Coopers because they last and they perform for me. One of the requirements here at Jacob Farm is to drop tyre pressure. The reason we drop the tyre pressure is to get a longer footprint and to protect the environment. So it also gives you a better traction by giving a longer footprint. It also protects your sidewalls against sharp rocks and better traction when it rolls over the rocks it actually grabs. I run a mid-weight vehicle, I run an Isuzu D-Max. I run 16 PSI on the front of my vehicle. Being fully loaded with tools and camping gear and hot water service and water tanks in the back of my car, I run 20 pounds. So it does depend on the weight of the vehicle. Always when you're letting your tyres down, look at how it bags out. Never advise a highway terrain tyre to go below 20 psi due to the fact it's the construction of the tyre and it roll off the rim. If we're dropping our tyres by 50%, we drop the speed by 50%. If we're dropping at 60%, then we drop our speed by 60% and so on. The lower you put your tyre pressure also affects your braking time. So when you're out in the tracks and you're on the Birdsville track and so forth, you're going to have to reduce your speed. I'd run around about 28 psi on a warm day at, at uh, heading to Birdsville. Lower your speed, lower your tyre pressure. Just remember, keep your distance between objects to the fact is your braking time's longer. This construction of tyre is a um, Cooper ST Max. It's got a 10-ply top tread, and it's actually got a 3-ply sidewall, which has actually got the Armatec sidewall construction, which Coopers are painted for that design, where they've got the first ply, second ply, and the third ply is at 15 degrees. So it actually protects the sidewall penetration. Now, something that a lot, of, a lot of the training courses I do here in the advisory courses is I advise people to actually roll over the rocks, the sharp rocks. So if we had a sharp rock, I'd actually advise them to roll the tread over the sharp rock instead of trying to avoid it and actually doing a sidewall. Because you've got 10 ply against 3 ply. So it's always best to run the tread over the, over the rocks. As long as they're not higher than your chassis rail, you'll be fine. <laughs> So to let our tyres down, to simplify it, which a lot of people get confused with a, a quick deflator, some people use storms where you just screw them on and actually set to an 18 uh, psi from the factory and they let themselves down. So demonstration, screw onto the valve stem, take the valve out, put pressure on it while you're taking it out otherwise it will just sit there and ride. Now you might not be able to hear that on the video, but it's actually clicking. So I pull this valve, so the valve will come into this chamber. This tyre is running the correct tyre pressure at 32 psi. So to actually release the air, we just dump the air out. So we've screwed on the valve stem, screwed the valve out, now we can dump the air out. On the vehicle, I'd run this down to 20 on the back of my car due to the weight, and 16 on the front. So once we've actually got our desired air pressure, we're down to 16 psi. I ignore the gauge, I screw the valve back into the valve stem, like a screw, that's up nice and tight. Release that, no air coming out, that tells me that's safe to release. Got our desired pressure, put the valve, the dust cap back on, next tire. <laughs> 